During a mammogram, a technician takes an x-ray of a woman's breast. A radiologist then examines the image for tumors. Mammograms undoubtedly save lives. The number of deaths from breast cancer has fallen by 30 percent in the U.S. since mammography was introduced in the 1970s. That's because when cancer is found early, the chances of beating it are greater. Mammograms are the best screening tools available, but they aren't 100 percent accurate. A mammogram can look normal even when cancer is present, and it can look abnormal even though there's no cancer in the breast. Standard mammograms are two-dimensional, but for the 40 to 50 percent of women with dense breasts, both tumors and breast tissue can show up as white masses on 2D images. Three-dimensional mammograms show a more detailed view of the breast. Women with fibrous or dense breast may benefit from a 3D screening. It might find disease that we need to find that two-dimensional does not. There are potential cons in that it has a higher cost, higher amount of radiation given every dose, every time a person has the test as well as it may find a higher number of false positives. Cost aside, one study involving 13 U.S. hospitals showed that three-dimensional mammograms picked up an additional 40 percent of invasive cancers. For an even better picture, a woman could have an automated whole breast ultrasound. This is a new screening technique. It helps detect additional breast cancers in females who have got dense breasts. The whole breast ultrasound doesn't use radiation and it takes up to 5,000 images of the breast. This tool does not replace the traditional mammogram. Mammograms are the gold standard for finding breast cancer. This helps the mammogram in those females who have got dense breast. Studies are underway to find out which techniques are the most effective. While North America, Western Europe, and Australia have the highest rates of breast cancer, the World Health Organization reports that almost 50 percent of the cases and nearly 60 percent of the deaths occur in less developed countries. If we could improve detection and treatment, at least 400,000 women's lives could be saved every year. Carol Pearson, VOA News, Washington.